In this video, we're going to look at how we can autofill usernames and passwords on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on our Mac. Let's go to my Mac. Now, when we go to a website that requires a username and password, and even an app, some apps will work with this too. When we go to a website, what we can do is we can have our Mac save that username and password. So then it will autofill for later on. As an example, I'm going to go to my site here. So I open up Safari and then we go over to my site and I want to log in. So I just click on log in here and what you will see here is it wants to autofill. When I typed in my username and password into the site, the Mac asked me if I wanted to save it and now what I'm able to do is autofill it. If I want to use a different account, maybe I have a couple of different accounts for this site. I want to use a different account. What I can do is I can click on other passwords here and it'll show me other passwords for that site. So all I have to do is just select which one I want and it will automatically fill it in for me. We can do the same thing on the iPad and the iPhone. So how do we set this up? How do we have our Mac, our iPad, our iPhone remember what our usernames and passwords are. Well, it's pretty simple to do. On the Mac, what we need to do is we need to go to Safari. So I go down to Safari again, and then we go to Safari's preferences. So I go up under Safari in the menu bar. We go over to our preferences. And then what we do is we go over to Autofill. Under Autofill, you're going to see a few different options here. I can autofill information from any of my contacts. So this could be the address, phone number, anything from our contacts. I can also have it save our usernames and passwords. This is the one that I want to make sure that is selected. And then I can also have it save credit cards and other forms. It is secure on my personal account. I do have all of these checked, including my credit cards. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can just deselect it and then just use usernames and passwords. Once you select that, when you go to a website in Safari, what's going to happen once you enter your username and password, the Mac will remember that. It will even auto-suggest passwords for you, strong passwords for you, and save it so you can use that later on. So that's all we have to do on the Mac. What about the iPad and the iPhone? Well, let's go over to my iPad and iPhone, and we're first going to look at it on the iPad. So I go over to my iPad here, and now what we need to do is we need to open up our settings app. In the settings app, what we need to do is we need to go to passwords. Under passwords, you're going to see autofill. I select this and then from here, I just make sure that I have autofill passwords selected. Once I do that, the iPad will also remember any usernames and passwords that I use in Safari. On the iPad and the iPhone, we can also have it work with other browsers. So I could have it autofill with Chrome too. So I just select Chrome here. And now when I click on turn on autofill, when I'm using Google Chrome, it will automatically fill in any usernames and passwords. And also what it will do on the iPad and the iPhone is remember any app usernames and passwords. So in addition to Safari and Chrome, it'll remember app usernames and passwords. Well, what about the iPhone? Well, it's very similar to the iPad, as you can imagine. When I go to my iPhone here and I go to settings, what I need to do is I need to go to passwords. And then you're going to see autofill up towards the top. All I need to do is just make sure that that is selected. Now, I do not have any other browsers on this so it is not giving me the option to save it with Chrome. So that's all we have to do to have our Mac, iPad, and iPhone automatically save usernames and passwords and then autofill them at a later date. On the Mac, we go into Safari's preferences and then we go to autofill and make sure that we have usernames and passwords selected. On the iPad and the iPhone, we do this through the settings app and then there's going to be a setting for passwords just select that and make sure that you have autofill passwords selected. So that's how we have our Mac, iPad, and iPhone automatically save and autofill usernames and passwords.